Today I wanted to take a quick look at my Sitka tool bucket uh, backpack. Just kind of show you guys how I set up everything, basically what the essentials are. Um, some things might change, you know, later in the season, have extra clothes with me. Uh, things will change for all day sets as far as food and water go. This just provides some information on what I take to the tree stand with me for each and every hunt. So what I have here is the Sitka tool bucket. Uh, you guys have probably seen my other review on how I set that up for whenever I'm hunting public land and how I transport my um, hang and hunt system using my lone wolf hang on and my hawk helium uh, climbing sticks. So we'll just get started here, take a look at what I take to the woods with me. Uh, first on the outside, start with this zipper up top here. This I'll typically, this is my main release, uh, stand shoot off. I already have this typically in my uh, pocket of my coat or my pants whenever I'm going to the woods, just so it's ready. And I always make sure to take a backup release with me. So this here is that True Fire Hardcore Buckle uh, wrist release. Really like this release, but I like the, the thumb release just a little bit more. And if it's a morning hunt, I already have this out and walk to the stand with this. This is my black diamond uh, headlamp. It's got white with various intensity levels and then it's got red and green as well. Very nice handy headlamp there. And that's it for this top part. Moving on to the side here, kind of show you how I fasten in and take in my uh, tree arm with my fluid head. So this just goes down. This is supposed to be probably for water bottles, but they're kind of big and flappy, so water bottles don't stay in there too well. And I just use it to transport my tree arm this way with this buckle right here. Take that out. And then you can see it's all nice and compact right there with my uh, Manfrotto fluid head and then my Lank remote. And then moving on to the other side, this is my POV camera. This is my GoPro Hero 4. Just fasten in there the same way with this claw mount. And then moving on to the side pouches here. On this side, I've just got a stick of Evercalm. And moving on to the other side, I just have a little bit of Old Faithful, a little bit of TP there. Can't leave home without it. And now moving on to the main compartment. This here has this toggle system, which I don't even zip this thing. I just use this toggle right here, run it through the hole and then pull this flap all the way open. So starting out up front, this has a smaller compartment right down here, and then it has a larger main compartment right here. So a few things that I have in here, this probably wouldn't come with me until a little bit closer to pre-rut. Uh, probably wouldn't take this early season, but this is just um, estrus can for the dough bleats. And then I bounce back and forth. Sometimes I take these with me just because of convenience for my rattling antlers, but you really can't beat the real deal. So I typically take those when it's truly rut. Um, these just kind of cut down in size and easier to pack for me. And what else do we have in here? Set of Vortex binos. Definitely use those. And always got to have my Vortex Ranger uh, rangefinder. finder. 
And that's it for that front smaller compartment. And to the main compartment, or the bigger compartment, is my shoulder for my fourth arrow camera arm. The camera arm just slides right down into here. And I've got several of the tree mounting brackets that are already on my tree stands or on the actual tree. So whenever I get there, those brackets are in place. And then I just slide the shoulder into those brackets. And this is probably kind of overkill, but I just try to take care of my stuff. So I put my um, Canon G30 inside of this nice little carry bag. Fits in there perfectly. It's my main recording camera there. And as you've seen in my other video that I've done, I kind of rigged this up, got this from someone else on YouTube, this idea. But I just took a cereal container box, cut the bottom out of it so it goes all the way through. But this just adds some rigidness to this main compartment so everything doesn't kind of collapse on itself. And then I put this wrap around it so it's not as loud. Moving on here, as you can see, there's a pouch here and then another pouch here. Got my thermocell for early season. And my backup camera batteries. This is just an old reloading die box. Got several different batteries in here for camera and GoPro. That's it for that side. On to the other side. Uh, some fresh earth scent wafers. Typically get in the stand either put one on my backpack or just attach one to my hat or something like that. Been using those for years and years. And this is just cover spray. Uh, I didn't want to pack in you know a full-size bottle of cover spray so just bought a cheap little bottle and keep this refilled. And don't use this a lot, but this is just wind detector. You know, you just take it out, puff it, and watch your wind trail. And then on the inside here, on each side, is a couple other pockets. And then this is just my grunt tube. That's it for that side right now. This side, just a nice fold-out saw. And they're not in there right now, but I always have a pair of pruning snips with me. Just a little handheld pair. Um, I was down cutting out some trails the other day, so those are out in the garage right now. But those will definitely be in here. So then this is the top part. What I do is I just use like a one of those cheap little screw-in bow hangers. And then you can just slide this right on top of that. And this whole system, whole backpack, will hang fully open from that. And then this has three different compartments as well. Top zipper is just an extra uh, backup pin light. And second compartment. This is just uh, some, some stuff for my camera equipment. Uh, cleaning cloth, cleaning pin, felt, and a brush. And then just some extra string. Or anything. Uh, Leatherman multi tool. Always handy to have. Never know when you're going to need it. And just an extra carabiner in case I need to hang something somewhere. Uh, down here, typically already have my pull ropes on my stands, but just in case those break or need an extra for some odd reason. I uh, just have my pull rope with a carabiner on each end. Some later season hand warmers. Always have those in. And that is it. So as you can see here, I fit all this gear pretty easily. 
into this Sika tool bucket pack. Um, I've been through a lot of packs, but I found this to be the most user friendly for me. Uh, lots of storage ideas. I really like having access to everything, you know, keeping this fully open whenever you're in the stand. That way you can get to anything you need to. Everybody's going to be different on what they take to the stand, but this is pretty much my essential list right here. Uh, things will change, like I mentioned, you know, colder weather, I'll pack in extra clothes. These uh, tethering type straps here are really nice because I typically put like a pair of bibs on this and then I'll take these, uh, extend these all the way out and then I can put bibs here, I can put jacket here, under layers, whatever it might be. Um, you know, food, water, plenty of storage. So uh, if there's anything else that you guys would like for me to make a video on, just comment down below and uh, be happy to try to make that video for you. If you have any questions, make sure and ask. And if you guys want to, just subscribe to the channel, like this video, and uh, stay tuned this fall and winter for some good deer hunting videos. And as always, happy hunting. Can't beat it. See you guys.